Someone sent me something yesterday. And I want to read it to you all. It said this. They were talking about Rolls Royce and Bentley. Rolls Royce and Bentley. Have you ever noticed that Rolls Royce and Bentley don't have commercials? You ever see a commercial on TV about Rolls Royce and Bentleys? Reason. They know the value of their product brings customers to them. When you know your value, you don't have to beg people to like you, to be your mate, to spend time with you, or to love you. Be confident in who you are. Most people don't know who they are. They don't know who they are in Christ. They have an identity crisis every day of the world. Their identity problems. They find an identity in a vehicle. They find an identity in an outward appearance. They find an identity in something they have to write. They don't know who they are. They got to beg for people to help them. When you know who you are and you put a value on you, they will chase after you. You don't have to chase after them. Be anxious for nothing. Relax. There's not a seed. Look it. Make no mistake about what I say. So think about what I say before you answer it. Do seeds grow? They don't grow. Seeds that are planted grows. So when you plant a seed, you better know that there's a harvest on it. When you say a prayer... And you take expectation or the value off of your prayer. You rape faith off it. And when you take faith off of something, God's hands stop. Well, I'll pray about it. Well, if it happens, it happens. What else could go wrong? I mean, come on. Well, tried everything else. Might as well try the Lord. It's like shooting dice. Come on, seven. Come on, Jesus. I mean, that's what they do. If you take the expectation off of something, you can't please God. Because in Hebrews 11, 6, it says it is absolutely impossible to please God without faith. You must first believe. Believe what? Believe that God is God. And He is a rewarder. To his children. Who seek him. Something happens. Here's how you know where you're at. If you're walking in faith or fear. The very thing. That challenges you at that moment. How you react. Is what's in you. <gasps> Call a doctor. Relax. Jesus said this. I'm the doctor. In a sick room. I'm the lawyer. In the courtroom. And I am the friend that will stick closer to you. Than a brother. But if I was you. I'd make doggone sure. That you know what you're doing. When you don't involve the real doctor. If he said he's the doctor in the sick room. That means he's the doctor in the sick room. If he's the lawyer in the courtroom. You got to believe it. You don't come against God's kids. You need to know who you are. If you don't put a value on you, nobody else will. Anybody have anything to say? Any testimonies? Any questions? Polly, come up. Value yourself. If you don't put a value on you, nobody else will. You guys are too busy worrying about some goofy thing you've done. That, that goofy thing is going to separate you from God. Let me tell you something right now. The Bible said... We all have sinned. All. 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 What is all? All means all. All have sinned and fallen short of a mark. So what is sin? Fallen short of a mark. You want to stay in it? Then keep thinking about it. Because wherever you put your attention, your desire will follow. You put your attention on emotional things, you'll start crying like a little bedwetter. <laughs> 
Father, in the name of Jesus, as we boldly go to the throne room of grace, we thank you, my Heavenly Father, that today, this message will be supernatural. I bind all bad thoughts, emotional thoughts, fearful thoughts, anger thoughts, divisional thoughts. I bind everything that's not of you, Lord, that would try to bombard the minds of your children. I bind them. I rebuke them. I render them null and void. Father, I thank you that my brothers and sisters, your children, are, they are willing to open their hearts and receive the uncompromised, supernatural, life-changing, powerful word of truth and receive it inside of them and act on it, knowing that that's who they really are in you. They don't have to be someone else. They don't have to, pry, to, to prove anything or try to be. Father, they know who they are. They're sure-footed. I give you the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. This message has been brought to you by Winning at the Race of Life. To invite Hollywood stuntman speaker and author Sammy Maloof to your organization, please call 626-292-2258. Visit winningattheraceoflife.com and join us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.